Sometimes you just want a quick and dirty way to get one photo or a small video or even your con a contact um, or a document from one iOS device to another. Um, so there's an app for this called Bump. Uh, it's an iPhone app, so but it will work fine on the iPad. You can see there it opens up. I can make it fill the screen if I want to. And there's an i and if I open it on the iPhone. All you need to do is, you can see here I've selected a couple of photos, but you could also select videos up to 20 megabytes, audio, documents, anything from your Dropbox. So without having to email somebody, um, you can very quickly, let's say I'll choose those two photos, and now what you need to do is bump them. It says a gentle fist bump. So you literally bang your fingers together. Let's try again. Now you can see both iPads are asking me, both iOS devices ask me to connect. Okay, and over here the two photos I've just sent are arriving. So it takes a bit of practice to get the bumping right, but it works brilliantly. Perhaps even more useful than transferring from one iOS device to another is being able to transfer anything from your iOS device, be it iPhone or iPad, to uh, a computer. So here, for example, we have my MacBook. All you need to do is go to bu.mp on your browser, and you can do exactly the same thing by bumping to transfer anything from your iPad to the computer, or the other way around. So let's do both. So I'm going to open up Bump, I'm going to select that photo, you can see I've selected a photo, and I'm going to bump it on, move this down a bit, whoa, I'm going to bump it on the space bar of the keyboard. So please try again, okay. Connecting with Steve Morgan, and it says connect on here as well. And very shortly, there you go, that photo has appeared on my desktop. Now I could download that, or very helpfully, I could either email this link or copy this link. I'll show you how that works. And you could share that with people on a VLE, for example, and then it'd be available for everyone to look at. It will just open, that link will open a public version of that image. There you go. So let's just go back to that main page again. And let's go back. Now this time I'm going to transfer something from the computer to my phone. So the way that works is, it says select files from your computer or drag them on here. So let's try that. I uh, minimize this window a little bit. I'm going to drag a photo from here, from my desktop, into this space. And I could add more if I wanted to. Now it says bump the spacebar with your phone. Connecting, connect, okay, and you can see that photo has come in at the bottom, the end, and you could open it and save it into your, uh, into your camera roll. And you can just keep adding files, you can see it's as easy, you could group group select and drag in a whole bunch of things. Um, so have a go. It's bump and it's free.